Welcome to this tutorial on importing and calling LabVIEW VIs from within ATEZ. We will be going over how to link ATEZ procedures to LabVIEW VIs and then how to call them in an ATEZ test program. Before we get started, I would like to go over the benefits and functionality of ATEZ's LabVIEW import feature. The ATEZ integrated development environment allows users to leverage existing software written in a variety of languages, allowing developers to save time and effort when creating test programs. Developers can also take advantage of ATEZ's native language to incorporate additional functionality around pre-existing LabVIEW VIs. The built-in ATEZ test executive can also be used to tie pre-existing LabVIEW test code into one cohesive, deployable test program without any additional development. When you import a VI into ATEZ, a new procedure is created that contains code to call an existing VI, pass parameters in, and extract data out. ATEZ procedures are analogous to functions in other programming languages and allow developers to create usable segments of code. In our example program, I will import three LabVIEW VIs that initialize hardware, measure voltage from a 3.3 volt power supply, and measure voltage from a 5 volt power supply. These three VIs will be imported into ATEZ creating three ATEZ procedures that we can call from our test code. I will add additional functionality by taking the average value of the 10 measurements returned from each VI and evaluating the results for a pass-fail using ATEZ code. Before I get started, I'll show you the VIs that I'll be importing into ATEZ. The first VI called initialize.vi has one input parameter and two output parameters. The first input parameter is called slot. The two output parameters are handle out and error out. The second VI I'll be importing into ATC is called UUT 3.3 volt voltage test. It has two input parameters and three output parameters. The input parameters are handle in and error in, and the output parameters are handle out, result, and error out. The third VI that I'll be importing is called UUT 5 volt voltage test.vi. It's very similar to the last VI I showed you, but it tests a different part of the hardware that generates 5 volts. In this example, I've already created an empty ATEZ project and program using a technique similar to the one employed in the ATEZ introductory tutorial. Now I can import my LabVIEW VIs and get started with some test code. The first step in this process is to click Insert Import LabVIEW Virtual Instrument File. Click Open VI. And now I can select the three VIs I want to import. I can expand these nodes and examine the input and output parameters for each VI. Once I'm satisfied, I can click Import. ATEZ just created three procedures automatically that correspond with each LabVIEW VI. Before I get started with my test code, let me go over some of the variables I've already created. The first variable, called dtotal, will keep a running total of all the measurements I take so that I can later calculate the average and report that for pass-fail analysis. The second variable, called dresult, used as a parameter to pass into my VI and get a result back. L handle will keep track of my VI session. I will be used as an iterator for my for loop. ST error is a structure that holds my VI error information. And three variables were created by ATZ automatically to keep track of my LabVIEW VIs. We can get started writing some test code. The first thing I'm going to do is rename my tests and tasks. My first test will be called UT 3.3 volt test. I can rename my task to UT tests. Now I can call my initialize VI to set up my hardware. The first parameter the initialize VI takes is n slot, which in this case would be slot number two. And I get two parameters out L handle, which is my session handle, and ST error, which is my error out. Now that I've set up my hardware, I can call my UT 3.3 volt test 10 times and take a running total. To do this, I'll create a for loop. 
And within my for loop, I'll call ut 3.3 volt voltage test, which corresponds with the lab UVI I just imported earlier. In parameters are L handle ST error. And my out parameters are L handle, which is a pass through parameter. D result. Is a measurement reading from this VI. And finally, PS ST error, which is my output error parameter. Now I can add my D result to my running total. And I can report the average to my special test result variable for pass fail analysis. Now I've created my first test, I can simply copy it and paste it to create my second test. I'll go ahead and rename this test UT 5V test. This time I'll call my UT 5V voltage test VI. I'll also change my test properties. My 3.3V test. I'll use the min max a minimum of 3.1 volts and a maximum of 3.4 volts. I'll add a description UT 3.3 volt test. And I'll change my UT 5 volt test properties as well. It's a 4.8 volt minimum and a 5.2 volt maximum with the corresponding description. I'll make sure D total is reinitialized to zero in my five volt test. Now I can run my tests. So I've just created two tests to call my three VIs. Initialize to so set up my hardware and UUT 3.3 volt test as well as UUT 5 volt test. In addition, I've added functionality by using ATEC native code to use for looping and math to calculate the average and report that for test pass fail analysis.